Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch, and I'd like to welcome you to the Blackwell Epiphany. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the final game of the Blackwell series. It has been a pretty epic journey, I have to say, through all of these games. And in the last game, the Blackwell Deception, Rosangela and Joey learned about a shadowy organization kind of pulling the strings among supernatural elements in the city. And both of them had decided that they need to do something to stop it. So I'm very curious to see where the story is going to go from here. We see snow coming down, kind of somber. We'll see if that mood continues. Let's get a new game started. And winter is coming. Oh, wow. Your teeth are chattering. No, they're not. It's him. Detective Durkin, I'm here. Are you on your way? Yeah, sorry about that. I've got a lot of paperwork piled up. I won't be able to make it. What? I've been waiting here a half hour. You there? Good. Take a look around and let me know if you find anything. Take a look around? For what? You know the deal. I can't tell you. <sighs> yeah, I know. We'll pay you the usual rate. Talk to you soon. He stood you up again? Yep. Well, he's paying us to check out this dump, so let's get started. Is Rosa on retainer for the NYPD or just Detective Durkin? Left clip on, click on objects to interact, right click to observe. Do we still have? Yes, we do. Got some coffee? My fifth cup of coffee this evening, burning hot. The dead don't sleep and neither can I. Fair enough. We got our phone, we got Sam. Mail. Oh, let's check the mail. There's always new stuff. Miss Blackwell, I am representing Hannah Sharp in her divorce trial. It is my understanding that you are aware of her husband's affair. Please contact me at your earliest convenience. J. Letter. M. R. Y. Law. Seb Frederick. Are you the lady I spoke to at Munray's last year? I looked you up. Spiritual consultant? Really? I don't know what you did back then, but you better stay away from Columbia for a while. They caught you on security camera poking in Jamie's room, Seb. For all networking and security needs, contact Tomo. They're everywhere. J letter. Miss Blackwell. Understood. Thank you for your time. Thanks, but I'd really prefer not to be involved. Sorry. Hey, something's come up that might be up your alley. Come meet me at the Karth House. Karth House. Corner of Horatio and Greenwich. Or Greenwich. 7 p.m. You can't miss it. The place is a wreck. Usual f deal applies. I'll fill you in there. Or Greenwich, really. SD. Okay, for the internet search. Click on one clue, then another to combine them. Rosa will try and draw a connection between them and sometimes generate additional clues. Carth House seems to be an old hotel that's been condemned for years. Detective Durkin asked us to meet him here. As for why, he didn't say. So far, he's a no-show. Detective Durkin helped us out with a case earlier this year. He doesn't know who we are, but he knows enough not to ask questions. He occasionally asks us to consult for him. How could he call me out here and not show up? That's just so... unprofessional. Indeed. Hint, <laughs> my phone. Joey? Still have your wind powers in your tie? Gotcha. No parking from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I, I, one of the main reasons I've loved playing these games is seeing the visual style of the Wadjidai games develop over time into this, which just looks, even despite the fact we're in like an abandoned alley, this is where uh, vigilantes are made, um, still looks amazing. Uh, okay, a sign there. It's a fire hydrant, probably frozen solid. You can even see her steps in the snow. The door isn't in terribly good shape, but it's solid enough to keep me out. It says Karth House, under all the graffiti anyway. This is where Durkin told us to meet him. Horatio Street, totally deserted. <laughs> okay just an old trash bag. Looks like it's been there for a while. 
Let's go diving, Rosangela. It's just full of old trash. Nothing useful. Bricks. Reclaim, revolt, rebuke, reject, retaliate. Reclaim. Revolt. Rebuke. Reject. Retaliate. Along with anarchy symbols. Interesting. Locked, of course. And that's never stopped us before. Joey? Better get her inside before she's as blue as I am. Oh, I actually need to. Look at him. He doesn't even notice the cold. <laughs> I guess there are some perks. Alright, I'm going in. Try and stay warm. I'll do my best. Hmm. Oh, charming. Hello? Anybody there? Anything? Not yet. Let me look around a bit. I'll get back to you. I'm no electrician, but it looks like a fuse box. That door is due for this scrapyard. More painted junk. Another doorway. It's coated with all sorts of stuff. None of it nice. Ugh. Snake? Full of food wrappers and old needles. Not much else. That thing is barely holding itself together. Getting way too hot here, but stay if you wanna. I left the key. Check the stairs. It's the elevator. Kinda ramshackle. I guess security isn't this building's top priority. Hmm. Oh. An old rotting wooden board. Okay. Let's head toward the stairs. Ghost, remember? No touching. Oh, whoops. Chunk of concrete. Jesus, what's holding this dump together? Rubber cement? And hope. It's covered in graffiti and possibly locked, neither of which are a problem for me. Another door up here. Looks like a wrecking ball hit it. Come to think of it, that's probably what happened. People, revolt, reclaim, retaliate, rebuke, reject. Alright. So that is fairly similar to what we saw before. Huh? Hello? Hey, get back here! She looks pale and strung out. It's hard to place her age. Could be anywhere between 20 and 40. She's also shivering and scratching her arms. I know the dead can't feel the cold, but something is definitely giving her the shakes. Something. Whoever used this thing probably didn't care much for privacy. Hell of a pooping view, though. The view's pretty nice, but it's a shame about the rest of the place. Elevator. Ah, I'll leave toilet searching to the living. Well, then you don't have to worry about getting dirty, Joey. Bunch of junk fell here when the floor above collapsed. Can't make it any further. I'm too far from Red. If I want to get up there, I need to get her closer. So how do we get the door open? Um. And I bet she won't be able to go up the stairs, so we'll have to fix the elevator. Well, we definitely got a spook. We do? A woman. Only got a brief look at her before she buzzed off. Why didn't you go after her? She's too far away. We need to get you inside to bring her within range. Fine, let's hurry then. It's freezing out here. Um, let me look at these bricks again. 
reclaim. Reclaim what? I'm not sure I quite get the message here. It says revolt. Against what? Who can say? Rebuke what exactly? Stupid graffiti? Reject is the word. What an eyesore. Retaliate against what? If you gotta have a message, at least make it clear. <laughs> I love Joey. <laughs> He's such a good character. Alright, um... I'm going in again. Uh-huh. Let's see... Also, it seems that things are are still a bit tense between them from the end of the last game. Can't do much with that except read it. Yeah, that works for me. People revolt, reclaim. Revolt is underlined. A. All right. Oh, we can call Joey? That's neat. This brick is definitely hollow, but the ice around it is so thick, I can't pull it loose. Oh, that's a waste of good coffee. <sighs> the cost of this coffee is so going on my expense report. It's the life of a 1099. Yeah, it's melted. I better do whatever I need to do before it freezes again. Hello there. Perfect. It fits. It better. Otherwise, we were going to go through the window. Hmm. Nice place, huh? It has its charm, I guess. Yeah, it's got something all right. Come on, we have a spook to chat up. Now, oh, hello there, rat. Yeah, definitely can't go that way. Let's check the toiletry room. I'd admire the view if it wasn't so damn cold. I guess that was a bathroom before whatever happened happened. I oh. can't see what's on the other side, but this side shows a bunch of ads for day spas and beauty salons. I didn't even think about that. Or I didn't even notice that with Joey. What do we got here? Drug raid reveals more than drugs. Police raided a Chelsea tenant tenement last night and uncovered 10 pounds of heroin and $100,000 in cash. But what the police also uncovered is much more shocking. Uh, the tenant condemned for years and exposed to the elements was home to several drug users and transients who had been living on the premises. They were half starved, wearing rags and freezing to death, but they didn't care, Officer Leah Piero, who led the raid, said. They were so far gone. The body of an unidentified woman was also discovered. She was just lying there. Or is it Plero or Piero? Went on to say, surrounded by a bunch of other addicts. None of them seemed to notice. They probably would have all joined her before too long. It's probably who is up there. There's nothing in there. Thank God. <laughs> we didn't even check and see if the elevator was working. Nothing. The elevator's dead. Okay. So... I think there was a fuse box downstairs. Even if I cleared it away, I couldn't climb the stairs. They're completely collapsed. How dare you not try to uh, be Legolas? Ooh. Another box. It's full of old electrical equipment. Not exactly the best place for it. Old cables, frayed wires, a fried circuit board. Hmm, there's an old fuse at the bottom of the pile. Looks intact. Well, that's convenient. Let us take the old fuse to the fuse box, shall we? I really hope we get paid for this job. Otherwise, this could be our future home. Well, everyone already thinks you're crazy. Homeless is just the next obvious step. Thanks. Preview of coming attractions. Basement. Okay, this is the lobby. Floor two. Um. The fuse seems fine. I shouldn't mess with it. The fuse seems fine. I shouldn't mess with it. 
Okay, what's broke then? Power. Oh. Ah. Well, that didn't work. Well, for a split second it did. Oh dear. All right. Um, broken fuse, broken fuse. We burnt out all the fuses. Look the at fuse us. The fuse looks like it shorted out. Good thing I'm wearing gloves. Floor two. Wait, 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 wait. We need to go up. No, we need to go to floor three. Something must have shorted. It's stuck in the on position. Look at the people who slept here weren't exactly spoiled for choice. Oh, sorry, Joey. I didn't get what you said there. Not working. Okay. Like, this is floor two. Nothing. The elevator's dead. Hmm. Well, I guess we need to... Still snowing. I don't think it's gonna stop anytime soon. Well, it's not like we're going anywhere. It is warmth of a sort, right? Let's get all these broken fuses out of here. Yeah, there we go. So that gets... Okay, this is the elevator shaft. Oh, I see. I'd better not go in there. That elevator could collapse any minute. Hmm. So that would open floor two. Whoa, actually I need to see if I can need that board for anything. It's too rotted to be useful. Never mind. It's full of old needles. Even with gloves, I'm not putting my hand in there. If that desk had drawers, they rotted off long ago. And then the notice. I don't need to take it. I can just read it. Yeah. Into the toilet room. Better not go in there. It doesn't look all that safe. If there's exploring to be done on another floor, I'll leave it to Joey. Oh, you know, that's, that's true. We could just take her up here, and then that would extend her range. All right. Um, let's go ahead and try and put that in floor three. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try. Joey, come in here for a sec. You bellowed? Now head up here, Joey. There we go. She looks pale and strung out. It's hard. She's also shivering and scratch. I guess if you have to haunt a place, you can't beat a room with a view. Indeed. Hello? Hey. Oh, you're not. Not what? Just not. Were you expecting someone else? Someone. Could you tell me who it was? Maybe I can help look for him. No, he'll be here. So I'm Joey. What's your name? I don't know. Mary? Your name is Mary? Sure. Hmm. Look, this is no place to be during a blizzard. It's fine. It fits. Fits? Fits how? It fits. Mary, could you tell me the last thing you remember? How'd you end up here? I... I was here. And before that? The words. The... No, that's not... Not what? How it works. 
So how'd you end up in a dump like this? It's a place. Yeah, it's a place, one that's fallen apart. You shouldn't be here. No place else to go. Can't go home. Depends where home is. Where are you from? Here, nowhere, in front, in back, doesn't matter. I fit here. Uh, okay. So about this place? It's fine, just a... Are you familiar with a cop named Sam Durkin? He's a detective. Kin? Durkin? No, don't know. Let's ask about the drug raid. Actually. So, Mary was it? Uh-huh. Mary who? It doesn't matter. I'm just Mary. So I heard there was some police action here recently. What are you talking about? The cops. I heard they raided this place. Why would the police bother coming here? That's the whole point. What point would that be? Oh, forget it. So, about the cops coming here? I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> Fair enough. Okay, Mary. So, uh -huh. Mary... The I have to get going. Take care of yourself, Mary. What else do we have here? Plastic thing. It's a piece of black plastic with a metal bit on the end. I have no idea what it is. That's why we have to clear the elevator. Okay. Uno mas. So that means that Rosa should be able to grab it here, right? Because the elevator's on... Oh. Gotta open that door. I see. I see what the deal is. Rosa's really lucky she's not electrocuting herself to death. Or at least just frying the tips of her fingers. I think it's some kind of memory stick or card. Oh. Alright. It's definitely some kind of memory card. And it looks like it's compatible with my phone. Convenient. Loading data. One photo found. Hey, you find something? I think so. Take a look at this photo. Solve a puzzle together. Teamwork. Is this her? The ghost, I mean. Yeah, sorta. She looks a lot better in that photo, I'll tell you that much. Look at the file name. This was a headshot photo. I guess she was an actress. Could be. You wouldn't know it from looking at her. The spook upstairs looks like life chewed her up and spat her back out. Gotham Collective. Okay, Jewy. Let's see. Maybe that'll get some more info from her. So, Mary? Uh huh. So, you're part of the Gotham Collective Theater Company? Not anymore. What happened? Nothing. Everything. Come on, tell me about your acting days. Sounds fascinating. It's not. It's nothing. I'm nothing. You're nothing? Yes. Come on, tell me about your acting days. Sounds fascinating. It's not. Hmm. I have to get going. Okay. Take care of yourself, Mary. Then maybe... Gotham Collective. Speaking of vigilantes being made in alleyways. City Theater Community Board. It is with a heavy heart that we announce that the Gotham Collective Theater Company is closing its doors. It has been our absolute pleasure to entertain you for the last four years. What a ride. For information on our past performances, please download this file. Casting Crew. I'll uh, there must be hundreds of names on this list. I'll never find what I'm looking for just by reading it. I'll just save a copy to my notes app. Hopefully I can find something to cross-reference it with. Okay. 
This list was posted online by the Gotham Collective. That's all I know. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait. If Mary was a member of the Gotham Collective Theater Group, she's probably on this cast list. Gotcha. There's only one Mary who was a cast member. Mary Meehan, who was a cast member of a play called The River Wall. What did she play? Vic. Mary Meehan. Mary was a cast member in a production of The River Wall. Okay, well, maybe now with that information. Joey? So, Mary? Uh huh. The list is on that phone thing that Red's carrying. And even if I had it, I'm not going to ask her about hundreds of names one by one. So I caught your show, The River Wall. Oh, God. What? Just don't. I, I, I just want to be a face, okay? No more. I just can't. So about The River Wall. No. Why do this? Why? I'm not doing anything, dear. Just a fan. A fan, sure. So, Mary Meehan, was it? Uh-huh. Just checking. Doesn't matter. I'm just Mary. All right. Um... So about the... No, why? I'm not doing it. A fan. Hmm. The river wall... I have to get going. Take care of yourself, Mary. Maybe we need to... Mary... Mihun? Hold on. Mihun? What was it again? Me. Okay. Two E's. Oh, there we go. You'd think one would be jaded after so many vanity projects by the Gotham Collective, but the River Wall, based on the 1923 short story, has finally taken it one step too far. Setting aside the non-existent direction and the lackluster set design, both of which can be forgiven due to the low-budget nature of the production, nothing can forgive the choice of casting Mary Meehan in the lead role of Pamela. Displaying all the signs of an actress who took theater way too seriously in high school, she infuses her role with such over-the-top passion it becomes laughable rather than dramatic. Like in any ambition or energy, I very quickly wish she would drown in the river alongside the play's titular wall. Rating, one star. Ew. So this may have led to the downward spiral. So, Mary? Uh-huh. So I read that review of your show. You, you did? Yeah, I'm sorry. Mary? I thought I could get away from it, become just another face in the crowd. Is that something you really want? No, just needed to get away. It shouldn't have followed me here. Nobody should know me here. Surrounded by people who don't know me, it's good that way, better that way. People? What people? These people, lost people like me, alone but not alone. Mary, I hate to tell you this, but there's nobody here. What are you talking about? Look around. Carefully. There's nobody here but us. I don't see what you mean. Yes, you do. Nobody's been here for months, at least. How could... They left me? They wouldn't have just left me here. Would they? Alone? I'm afraid they did. But you're not alone now. We're here. No, it can't be empty. That was the whole point. I can't be alone here. I can't. What? Where is everyone? Hey, do you know where everyone is? Kill. I'm afraid everyone's gone. Gone? Why would they be gone? And without telling me? Without me knowing? I would have remembered. I would have noticed. What did you notice, Mary? Huh? You weren't thinking too clearly before. You are now. Come on. Get away from me. 
I don't belong here. Not anymore. Oh. Okay, Joey. They're gone. Everyone. Yeah. I remember now. I was cold, then warm, then nothing. I feel absolutely nothing. That review, it seemed like it was everything. Now it's just nothing. To die over nothing. She realizes it. Don't worry, Mary. We're here to help you. Help me? How? I can't seem to leave this place. Mary, I'm gonna have to ask you to take this. What is it? Just trust us, Mary. We're here to help. Okay. Oh, man, she didn't fall. Is it right? Is it right that this place should feel so good? It's where you need to be, Mary. That's all. I thought the Karth house was where I needed to be. After that review, maybe I would have been okay. Yeah, let's just... That critic was an idiot. That's nice of you to say, but you didn't see me perform. I was awful. Doesn't matter. I used to write reviews. I know these things. The critic was an idiot. Really? He said you had no ambition, but you also took it too seriously. How is that even possible? And how can you show too much passion and lack energy at the same time? I... I never thought of it that way. I'm sorry. I know it doesn't do much good to hear this now, but... No, no, it's good to hear it. Get that closure. Even if I had heard it six months ago, I wouldn't have listened. But I'm listening now. So thank you. It's time to go, Mary. Yeah. It's like, I noticed that she... You okay? I'm fine. Did I fall? No, you're still standing. Don't sound so surprised, Joey. Mental control, that's all it takes. Yeah, sure. Let's get going. After you. After the thing with Gavin, she could stand on her feet, but she still fell. Hello? Oh, hi. Can I help you? No, not yet. Hey, wait! Durkin. It's me. You need to send someone here right away. Someone's been shot. Shot? Who was it? What happened? I don't... Hello? Oh. Well, what's going on? No. Um, sir? Hello? Are, are you... We're here to help. Don't worry. No, it's too late. We're not safe. Even Grace is not safe. I'm sorry, friend, but whoever Grace is, you're past worrying about her now. No, you don't understand. You don't. You'd be surprised what we understand. You? No, the Bestower. I need the Bestower. The Stower? You know about the Stowers? Uh, about us? I know enough but not enough to save me. Well, it's your lucky day. We just happen to be in the saving business. You don't understand. They will find me. I hate to break it to you, but I think they already did. No. No. Ah! Holy. Yeah. Did you see that? What was it? What the hell was it? Someone rendered his spirit into hell's bells. Lower East Side, May 27th, 1931. So, I guess this is it. I believe so, my host. A tailor shop, huh? You think they've got anything in my size? A lost soul in need of saving, and you want to rob its place of business. Look at this dress I'm wearing. It's ruined. I figure I'm owed. Duty first, my host. Petty theft after. Wow. I'll see. The Countess before... Okay. Wow. The game definitely has my attention. Wow. That was awesome. So... The journey continues, folks. We're going to go ahead and call it an episode here. 
and uh, see where we go. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.